This is the story of La Llorona, the Wailing Woman, from Mexican Ghost Tales of the Southwest. Stories and illustrations by Alfred Avila. It was late at night, beside the warm wood-burning stove, with its flames making dancing shadows on the wooden walls of the dimly lit room. We all sat around my father as he sat on a chair next to the dining table, telling us stories of the mysterious realm of the supernatural, Los Espantos de México. He would sit there so calmly, smoking his cigarette, whose glow would light up his face. He would sit there quietly, sometimes hesitating for words as his mind drifted back into the years long past, reaching for the memories stored in the far corners of his mind. When he started to speak, we would look at the stove and the dancing shadows that its flames cast on the room's walls. The shadows looked like imps from the lower depths of the fiery inferno. My father's voice rolled on. Long ago, in the ancient days when Mexico was young, there lived a woman whose husband had died and left her with three small children to care for and raise. Life for her was hard. She grew tired of these children, for to her they had become a burden. She longed for the gaiety of the fiestas, the dancing and escape from her daily responsibilities. She would go out and leave her innocent children to fend for themselves. She didn't care if they went hungry. They were always crying from hunger and the beatings they received from her in anger. Finally, she got tired of listening to their endless crying and she forced them into a sack, dragging it to a nearby river swollen from the rains in the mountains. From inside the sack, the children cried and pleaded with their mother to release them, ignorant of the grisly fate that awaited them. They cried and pleaded, please, mother, please. But her heart was hard and cruel. She was determined to cast off the yoke that hung around her neck. These troublesome children. She dragged them to the edge of the swift swirling waters and pushed them into the river. They screamed and cried as they tumbled down the river bank into the swirling waters that swallowed them into eternity. The woman walked away happy with herself. At last she was free. She lived a loose, wicked life, but in the end the jaws of death claimed her. She died and was walked before the tribunal of God to judge the fate of her eternal soul. She stood before the Almighty One, with her head hung down and sorrowful. You, God told her, are to be pitied. Your past is very evil. You sinned immensely during your time on earth and committed the greatest sin of all. You killed your own children. Therefore you are cursed to roam the rivers of the world until you find the bones of your children. You are cursed to find no rest until you find their bones, and cry you will until the end of the world. On moonless nights by the river, you may hear a long, mournful, howling cry. Beware, beware. It may be La Llorona looking for her children. Stay away from the river 
lest you be found by her in the darkness. The